Hey guys, welcome back to the Dunk King finale. Now, this is it. We're down to our final four competitors. Each of these athletes will have one more dunk to impress the judges. And the dunkers can do whatever they want, saving their best for last. The scores won't be revealed until after everyone is gone, and the athlete with the highest score will be crowned the next Dunk King and pocket $100,000. Let's get it going. Brandon Worm LeCue is up right now. On his quest for the crown. There it is. Oh. The five-time national dunking champ showed off pure power. Oh. And earlier tonight, raw motion. Man, this was such a moving night for Worm. But now, this is for everything. This is it, Kenny. Talk about the pressure. These are the four best dunkers in the world right now. And here's Worm. Let's go, Worm. Let's get it up, y'all. Let's go, y'all. That is a man's dunk right there. I'm telling you, nobody scoops the ball better. You do know what well, let's take a look at the replay. You know, actually, we've seen Worm make this dunk early in the competition. Scoop dunks are his signature. It just is something that we've seen. Will the judges think it's still impressive? Jordan Sutherland is up. Let's go, Jordan. The Georgia native has made this competition a family affair. Oh, oh. Getting help from his fiance and qualifying. And earlier tonight from his mom. Right there. But now, for his final dunk, the ladies in his life are taking a seat, and we've got a high jump bar on the court. Jordan definitely bringing the creativity. Let's go, now, Jordan was a high jumper in high school, but his passion has always been basketball, and it could pay off tonight with $100,000. He was able to jump over his mom, but can he jump over that high bar? Yo, let's go, let's go. Give it up, boy. Jordan Sutherland, unbelievable. That bar don't lie. And so when you jump over it, ooh, and cleared it easily, the timing and elevation that requires, and to cap it off with a two-hand reverse, that's an impressive dunk. Up next, the man who owes his place in the competition to Kenny Smith, who gave him an extra spot, and now he's killing it. The French assassin, Guy Dupuis. Guy actually lost his semifinal matchup with Michael Purdy, but was handpicked by Kenny to advance to the finals. I'm gonna go with my man from France. Guy Dupuis, where he locked up not only the spot in the final four, but a partner for life. Would you marry me? <laughs> yes, I will. Oh, that's what I'm about. <laughs> so Guy needs this hundred thousand more than anybody. He has a wedding to pay for. No, no. <laughs> I will just say this: He tried dunking over a car last year's finals, and he missed all three attempts. I just don't want to see history repeat itself. Come on, Guy. Guy's been waiting for this redemption for a long time. Here it is. He takes off on one foot, just gets past the free throw line, between the legs, goes over a car. Look at how high he gets. Are you kidding me? His right foot does graze the car on the way down, but he's not going to miss it this year. He got himself in position, I think, to win this $100,000. Now it's time to crown this year's king. It will be one of these four incredible athletes right here, but there can only be one king, and we have the final results. Coming in at number four. Guys, give it up for Jordan Kilgannon. Number three. My man, Worm. 
Which means it comes down to these two guys right here, man. Jordan Sutherland and Guy Dupuis. They impressed the judges. They impressed everyone across the world. But the winner and the new Dunk King Incredible night for this dude, man. Thank you once again to all of the dunkers. Thank you, judges, and thank you, of course, to the Jet, Kenny Smith. I'm Terrence J. Peace.